Hello. Hello there. Hello friends and welcome to episode one of Getting Started with Donkey Car. Today in episode one we are going to be doing an overview of the Donkey Gym environment and in the next episode, episode two, we'll be doing a walkthrough of the installation process as well as a general usage workflow. So without any further ado, let's get started. The point of the donkey gym environment is to completely replace the workflow that you would have used with the physical car. This makes it so that you can completely test and deploy all of your code and models without having to load it to the Raspberry Pi or Jets and Nana every time and it's also especially ideal in situations where you don't have much room for the car to drive in or if you're just not ready to commit to buying the part yet. Once you have the simulator open, you have several options to get going. You can either drive in the simulator directly using your keyboard or you can have it follow a virtual path automatically using a PID controller where you can adjust the K constants to your liking and this is a great way to automate your data collection. Alternatively, you can use the simulator and donkey gem environment in the same way as you would with a regular donkey car. Here I am giving it the command to drive in the terminal with the option to use one of my models. This after loading gives me a link which I can follow to the browser based controller. Once I'm in the web controller, I can either control the car using the software joystick, which will then allow me to begin collecting some data, or I can tell it to use the local pilot, which will then prompt the car to start driving by itself. <laughs> Look at that, friends. Switching over to the simulator view, you can then watch the car drive hands-free in the simulator until you are bored. If you would like to get a head start in setting up the simulator for yourself before episode 2 comes out, go ahead to donkeycar.docs.com which is linked in the description and follow the instructions there. I have some of my pre-trained models available on Google Drive which is also linked in the description. Just keep in mind if you want to use my pre-trained models, please install TensorFlow 1.15.2 instead of Donkey Car's default TensorFlow version which is 1.13 since TensorFlow models trained in 1.15 can't run on TensorFlow 1.13. If you are unsure about this, I'll be going through the whole setup process in detail when episode 2 is released. Have a great weekend and see you next time. Hello friends, Editing Cara coming at you with a potato webcam. If you enjoyed that video, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe. Also head down to the description below. Our Discord server is linked there and we would love you to join us. Also give my Instagram a follow at Brontisaur to watch how the project develops and carries on and also to keep up to date with whenever I might release something. You never know when. If you enjoyed this video, there might just be something linked in the cards above somewhere around here for you to enjoy as well. And yeah. Other than that, just have a great weekend and an awesome day.